Sup guys, Juggalo here, and today's video is going to be about widescreen gaming. Now as you guys know, I was gaming in portrait mode. Um, it's fairly easy to game on portrait mode compared to landscape mode just because of the ratio, um, or I should say aspect ratio, and some things may not look right, may be squished and stretched and people look like gnomes walking around and all that stuff so it's kind of a, an annoyance but we have two programs that can fix that one is going to be flawless widescreen and then one's going to be widescreen fixer widescreen fixer has came out and enabled us now again to play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with the new up-to-date patch which is I think 1.8 or 1.7 something so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to run the application and pretty much both of them run exactly the same maybe a different UIs compared to each other but other than that they're more or less the same how in how they work and everything like that also you can donate to these guys if um, you know this helps you out and everything I know I plan to donate to these guys uh, when I do get some extra cash but you know you already know my situation I'm not going to explain it so let's go ahead and check out these programs I'm going to go ahead and record on the top screen and as you can tell I have a totally different um, setup now different picture a little bit more menacing um, so yeah looks pretty cool in my opinion so let me go ahead and close out my steam stuff sorry about that so alright so this is the image if you guys are wondering what it looks like now on three screens or I should say three or two and a half really not even so looks pretty sweet but anyways let's get started um, I'm gonna provide the links below I'm not gonna download anything I'm assuming you know how to install it so we'll just get to it with no problems so let me go ahead and flip this and then I'm going to go ahead and focus the monitor up top since it's the easiest to do and allows me to sit while I'm recording and check out to ensure that I am getting everything in the shot so pretty much both of these are going to come in zip files except for uh, I should say one of them is going to come in a zip file that's going to be uh, the window screen fixer you're going to unzip it it's going to give you a new folder and everything like that so let me go ahead and show you what it looks like real quick so this will be the folder like so let me go ahead and look, zoom in a little bit so this is the folder here all you have to do is open it up and then um, right here it's gonna have the program widescreen fixer let me go ahead and back out a little bit widescreen fixer go ahead and hit enter to get that or just click on it be a little easier so open up widescreen fixer it's gonna give you a notification are you sure you want this to control your account you're gonna say yes and pretty much all you have to do is select what game you would like to have the game fix for your widescreen gaming pleasure I personally like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so I click that and I close this out no reason to have that all you need is this program here and then I'm gonna go down to uh, here I'm gonna go to library and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer and I'll show you what it looks like now compared to what I had it was absolutely horrible um, very squished so let me go ahead and back this out and then unzoom it so this is the setup what it looks like now now with this they didn't really bother much as far as the UI for the main screen or entering in any screen um, like the menus and stuff it's really not important what's important is having the gameplay set up the way you want to so pretty much you're just going to click uh, play online and the, what I did is I actually have this program running at the top monitor so I can see you know status game running yes 
you know, fix enabled, yes, and then it has the base address. So I'm sure that this program is working with this extra display monitor that I have, which is quite nice, I have to say. So as you can tell, my character isn't squished like before. Um, my character was actually like that big and then like that wide because of the aspect ratio. So let me see if I can find game and real quick, or if not, um, let me see, what's a game that really doesn't matter if you exit out of, so, do private match, start game, so I can show you it, I don't want to ruin anybody's game, so this is going to be retreat, team death match, and it's going to load up real quick, uh, sometimes it loads fast, sometimes it loads slow, so we're going to go ahead and get that going. And go ahead and choose auto assign. We don't really care what weapon it is. Um, so select like that. And then, as you can tell, the game is working like it's supposed to. However, the HUD right here isn't fixed. You can enable it via the settings, but it says it isn't safe because sometimes. Excuse me, these kind of programs can give you a back ban because it is fixing everything. So, so far, no problems on that, but you can change it to where it fixes this to here if you want. So, there's no problems there. So, this is what the game looks like. Looks good. No problems, no issues. Works great. Okay, now we're going to go to the next program. Let's go ahead and leave game. Yes. Okay, let that load up real quick. Yada yada, I don't care about the scores. Just get me out of here. Okay. Leave lobby. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and exit out. Yes. Now, people may call me a COD fanboy or whatever, but I'm just showing examples in Call of Duty because predominantly they're not really supported by the developer as far as the widescreen gaming or anything like that, unfortunately. So, I'm going to quit. Yes. Okay, now we're going to use a different program called uh, Flawless Widescreen. Same kind of setup as a widescreen fixer, as I said before. So I'm going to go ahead and close this program out. And uh, when you're using that program, just select the game first that you're going to play, and then run the game, and then it will automatically fix it for you. Okay, next up, we're going to do Flawless Widescreen. Right here. Let me go ahead and bring this up. And the symbol is going to look like this. I'll have both links in the link description below. So, this one runs as an executable and everything like that. I believe you don't have to extract it. So, we're going to go ahead and click this. Again, it's going to ask you, do you want the following program to make changes, blah, 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 and all this crap. So, right here, which is pretty nice. Go ahead and scroll out a little bit. But, right there... You can reload your plugins, you can check for updates, so if I check up for updates, it's going to do its little spiel, did that. And then for this, same thing, select your game that you want to play, and then all you have to do is select, for example, this is for Black Ops, and you click the plugins that you want to install fully onto the computer. So I have Assassin's Creed, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty, Far Cry 3, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, Wolfenstein and etc. And there's a slew of games as well. Like tons and tons and tons of games. So you'll see what's supported when you download this, but it's definitely enough. So we can go ahead and run the game. And it says searching for Call of Duty.
process and please configure desired settings and all that so you can go in and change the settings I personally am not touching them whatsoever I'm just running the game so I'm gonna go ahead and run Call of Duty Black Ops and I'll show you what that looks like <clears throat> And then for some reason, it does this screen here, but not this one. I think it's just because of the ratio and everything, but I really don't care. As long as the game works, that's pretty much what I'm focused on. So, and then here we go, Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm not sure if this image looks normal or not, or if it looks stretched, but I think it looks fine to me, so I'm going to press any key. This is one thing that basically made me stop playing Call of Duty Black Ops is because it didn't support the three screens and I wasn't even sure if the white screen and the white screen fixer wasn't, I'm not sure if it was even out there or I was just kind of ignorant and I didn't know about it. When I had my uh, three um, Samsung 2343BWX monitors when I was doing this kind of setup. But here, again, was squished out. And yeah, it was just horrible. Couldn't really play anything. So <clears throat> I'm not even sure if the multiplayer would even work because it's been saying like no servers are available. So I don't want a chance it. So I'm just going to select campaign. And then I'm going to do resume game. I'm going to click yes. So you're going to have this video playing real quick and hopefully it doesn't take too long for me to exit out of it. Of course someone won't let me uh, exit out, why would they? Okay, it's getting there where you can hit left mouse to skip. Finally, it's about time. <clears throat> Still loading the game up real quick. I don't have an SSD with my games. I'm using the two terabyte uh, hard drive, but as you can tell, everything is as far as aspect ratio wise the game is playing like it's supposed to there's no squishing of the characters where they look like little gnomes walking around and everything like that so it's fairly good as far as the aspect ratio and everything like that so it works great again ensure that you have your plugin all you have to do is click on it and it'll automatically load it up to here and then um, basically click on the plugin for the game you want to play run the game and it should automatically fix everything for you. Alright guys, that is it. I hope this video helps you out in some way. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button, and you guys have a great day now.